Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and this is for Anything But A Card Challenge Vlog, challenge number 47, I believe, and the theme for May is a fun one. It's the inspiration of an art master. What artist inspires you? And then once you pick that artist, pick their sculpture or painting or what other piece of art of theirs is your inspiration for your challenge. For me, I love pop art, and a few years ago, over at the Art Institute of Chicago, I was fortunate enough to go to see the Roy Lichtenstein exhibit. Um, it happened to be a free day, and because otherwise I would never be able to go, because admission to that museum is a little pricey. <laughs> so the, uh, the exhibit was awesome. So I based my project for this challenge on Roy Lichtenstein, and I found a site on Pinterest to show how to do it. Um, it is, you know, you you are putting dots on paper, but it shows how to transfer a picture onto a piece of paper so you can um, do it. And I have step-by-step -step pictures on my blog because I did this piece at night, and when I finished, I realized I should have taken pictures along the way, but like I said, it was at night and it was dark, so the pictures probably wouldn't have come out as good. So I did it the next morning, and I have that example here as well. So for step by step, go to my blog. So I took a picture, as you can see here, and I um, edited it in GIMP to make it like a photo photocopy. So I won't have the black and white wasting so much ink, but also at least dark enough so I can get the lines. And then I took a charcoal pencil, let's see somewhere, and I went over the, um, the picture with it. And then after I did that, I turned it over. Well, I took a piece of watercolor paper, and I took the picture and placed it over the picture, and I taped it. So it wouldn't move when I burnished it with a bone folder and that way it transferred the charcoal pencil onto the watercolor paper and then after it was removed I went over the um, picture again with the charcoal pencil and then I went over that with a black sharpie marker and then this one I colored in with the sharpie the inside of the hat here and then also the mouse, the mouse ears, and the two sides of the um, the ears, and then I took uh, a pink watercolor marker from Crayola and did the buttons and the inside of my clothing, and then a blue uh, marker, this one for the eyes, and a red one for that part. So after I did, you know, did all the solid coloring, I took a Tim Holtz, my Tim Holtz ruler, because they say to use a ruler, and then I took you know another skin tone um, Crayola marker and did the dots. But after a while, I did away with the um, with the ruler and just did it on my own, trying to keep them straight. And again, I did the same thing with the pink for my outfit, and I used a black sharpie for the. Um, ears. So that's the piece that I did for the um, example for the step-by-step. -step. And you can see that it looks a little bit more like me, the, like the picture, than on here, and then my finished product right here. I don't know what I did, <laughs> but it looks nothing like that picture, and my eyes look like I'm up to something. So after I, you know, did all the dots and stuff, I trimmed out the watercolor paper, and I did the edges with black um, ink pad, I think Memento is what I grabbed. And I set that aside and I started painting the journal page black. I actually wanted it white and then paint a little black border, somewhat like a frame picture, matted frame picture. But it didn't work out too well, so I just did everything in black. And then I glued, glued it down with actually Hellmore 450 Quick Dry because that's what I grabbed out of the drawer at the time. And then I found these alphabet stamps. I think they're from Rubber Stampede and I stamped out up to no good because that's what I look like. And 
they stamped it on black mixed media ink pad by Colorbach and I embossed it with ultra high gloss clear embossy powder from the Las Vegas stamps. Cut the words apart, edged the paper with the sharpie marker and then glued that down with the same glue as well. And then later when I looked up pictures of Roy Lichtenstein's artwork again just to make sure he did some type of background because I was leaving it just as, you know, that watercolor paper color and I realized he did color his background or, you know, did some type of pattern. So I took a color pencil and um, colored it in the background and then I took baby oil and a Q-tip and blended that out and it actually blended quite nicely. So that's my project and again, for step-by-step -step pictures, be sure to go to my blog. And be sure to go to anything but a card challenge box to see what the other design teams are doing or did. See what inspired them. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to play along. It's a fun challenge.